when we talked about the bones of the uh, arm, we started with where it attached to the torso. For the arm, that was the scapula and the clavicle. Now we're talking about the legs, and they attach to the torso at this structure, which is called the pelvis. The pelvis is made out of different bones. Each half of the pelvis is made out of a bone called an oscoxy. Here's one, here's the other. And the two oscoxy attach to the spinal column, to the vertebrae here at the sacrum. Where one oscoxy joins the next oscoxy, right here in the middle in the front, this is a joint called the pubic symphysis. It's called the pubic symphysis because actually each oscoxy is made out of three smaller bones, and this bone of each oscoxy is called the pubic bone. Let's look at one oscoxy. Here is one. This would be one half of the pelvis. When we're looking at the pelvis, the pelvis has got this two bones, the oscoxy, and they have individual structures. This bone is called the pubis. The pubis is the front of the pelvis. This very large bone here is called the ilium. And the bone here that makes up the structure that you would sit on, that is called the ischium. There is a large hole in each oscoxy, and this is called the obturator foramen, this hole. And this hole, you can see it is kind of shaped like an egg, and the pointy part of the egg is pointing to the bone that is called the ischium. The ischium has got a rugged area on the bottom, and this is called the ischial tuberosity. Lots of strong muscles attach right here to the ischium. That leads us to this socket part of the pelvis. This socket is called the acetabulum, A-C-E, acetabulum, and that is going to be part of the hip joint, the acetabulum. Up here at the uh, ilium, this uh, arc area is called the iliac crest. Now from here, we're going to go to this bone, the femur. The femur is also called your thigh bone, 